This week, we continue our road trip to Marcy. Marcy became an important transportation center when in 1853, it was decided to direct the new railroad from Utica to Boonville through Marcy to avoid steep Deerfield Hill. In 1928, the city of Utica took advantage of the open land in Marcy to build the Utica Municipal Airport. On the site of what is now the huge, huge Walmart distribution center here in Marcy was once the original airport for Utica that opened in 1928. This airport pioneered airmail service in New York State. The Utica Municipal Airport in Marcy opened with great fanfare in 1929 and was an aviation hub for many years. Airmail was flown in and out and even American Airlines landed regularly for passengers. It was visited by many famous planes and pilots and also politicians, business leaders, admirals and generals and sports radio and screen stars. Will Rogers, pilots Amelia Earhart and Wiley Post, the famous Ford tri-motored monoplane, and even the Goodyear blimp visited the airport in Marcy. The Utica Municipal Airport was active through the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. It was closed around 1960, in part because of the increased traffic at nearby Griffiths Air Force Base. There's something in you Just can't explain the sun shines down. Colors, stay the same. All the, the State University of New York in Utica, Rome, began with 300 students in 1969, using classrooms at the West Frankfurt Elementary School. In 1981, groundbreaking ceremonies were held in Marcy for the new campus overlooking the Mohawk Valley. SUNY IT is now a four-year college offering undergraduate, graduate, and MBA programs. The public can take advantage of the college's intercollegiate sporting events, the Institute for Learning and Retirement, the Small Business Development Center, and the Network of Nature Trails open to the public year-round. The trails take you through the beautiful woods on this campus, and along the way there are places where you can do exercises. Um, I found my favorite one oh, about three-quarters of the way through, and it's right here. I think I'll take a little break and watch some of the amazing construction going on. And it is amazing. It's one more reason why we can be so proud to be here in the Mohawk Valley with an educational institution like this one. The Romer Fitness Trails are open daily year round from dawn to dusk. You can also visit the Gannett Art Gallery located on the first floor of Kinsella Hall. It is open Monday through Friday and hosts community, student, and faculty art shows throughout the year. In 1940, Grace Furniture was located in the home of Frank Grace with 500 square feet of showroom. Back then, customers were just happy to own furniture and chose from green, blue, or maroon. Today, Grace Furniture has a showroom of 22,000 square feet. Customers have an almost infinite selection of styles and colors. There have been four generations working here at Grace Furniture. Three of them are still here today. For me, it has a very personal connection because way back in 1969, when my wife and I were looking for furniture for our new apartment, we bought our furniture here at Grace. We just celebrated our 41st anniversary, and it's kind of interesting because I can remember the furniture that we bought here, and the odd thing is that now, coming in here and walking around, I see that the same style furniture has come back. I guess that makes me kind of old then, doesn't it? There was music in the valley. There was music in the Located on River Road, not far from where it began almost a century ago, is Candela's Greenhouse and Vegetables. This time of year, it is brimming with squashes, pumpkins, potatoes, mums, and other fall favorites. Candela's started out as a little fruit stand back in 1919. Now, as for myself, I can remember coming here when I was a little kid, no bigger than three or four feet high, because Candela's was the place to go for fresh fruits and vegetables. And just like Grace Furniture, we now have the fourth generation of Candela's here at this store.
Marcy has a local My Favorite Muffin. The company made its mark by offering made-from-scratch bagels, breads, muffins, and more. Richard Dow and his wife opened on River Road almost 15 years ago, offering commuters fresh breakfast and lunch options seven days a week. Uh, my wife and I chose this business in 1996. Um, we just uh, happened to find the, um, uh, the franchise in a, in a local library uh, book on franchises, and the name was Ketchy, my favorite muffin and bagel cafe, and we investigated it and decided to, uh, to sign on. We stopped into my favorite muffin, and lo and behold, they have my favorite muffin, it's the cranberry orange right here. There are 36 different types of muffins, but what I didn't know is that they also have sandwiches here, gourmet sandwiches. So we decided on the spot, let's go for a picnic. We're going to get the sandwiches, the muffins, and head out on the road for a picnic. The Barge Canal was once the lifeline of Marcy with barges hauling oil, raw materials, and farm produce. Today it is used mostly for recreation, and Lock 20 is a popular spot for summer concerts, Betsy the Barge, and access to the Canalway Trail. Come here in the summertime and there are all kinds of people coming for concerts and events and boats going up and down the canal. Come here though now at this time of the year, which is my favorite time of the year, and it's very, very quiet. You can have a picnic over here in the grove, or if you're lucky, there might be a boat coming through. The canal is open for two more weeks before it's closed for our upstate Mohawk Valley winter. Traveling round.